Uh, dear students, welcome to our class on uh, computation of uh, evapotranspiration basics 3. Okay, so in the basics 1, we try to understand what is Blaney and Cadillac method, what is modified Blaney and Cadillac method, what is the Penman equation, what is the modified Penman equation in the first uh, of the basics of uh, computation of evapotranspiration. This is the basics one, I am telling I am not saying this at once. Eh? Second, uh, in the second basics of uh, class, you know, we try to understand uh, what is the energy balance method, what is the Bowen's ratio, what is the combination approach by uh, Penman. Okay, so combination approach uh, uh, was used uh, by Penman with the two arrow first radiation component, then uh, uh, first radiation component, and the second one is the aerodynamic component. Now, what is aerodynamic component? In detail, we we'll try to understand in this class, uh, computation of evapotranspiration, uh, basics 3. Okay, now, see, I always followed this book, uh, Climate and Vegetation by Jen Hu Chang. It was dedicated to, Jen Hu Chang dedicated uh, this book to his father, who is a geographer, wonderful uh, uh, of course, uh, he is a uh, not only geographer along with Thornthwaite and all these people, they had, he had classified the climates and everything. So then, again, another source of information for the aerodynamic approach is the, okay, this is the Windrock, uh, okay, a basic micrometrology and instrumentation for, uh, uh, this was prepared for the Windrock International by many of my colleagues whom I met in different laboratories across okay so across the globe I can say few of them are still working even today so they are working they have occupied the highest positions in the of course Asia in several places as a matter of principle I never talk about the okay names I never talk about the names of the scientists or groups with whom I work or not to give any a priority to someone and else and also to the companies with the, whose, whose instruments I have worked throughout my life about approximately 40 years. Now, never will I promote them. As a matter of principle, I am the professor. I should be true to uh, professor's characters of uh, uh, maintaining the highest level of discipline, character, piousness, sacredness of the student to maintain. Now, see, from this book also I take what is the aerodynamics? See, for, uh, first, uh, I always tell my students, aerodynamics first class for the basics. What is that? Uh, aerodynamics is an object, whatever the object, whatever the object, an object which is in the air. Starting from a kite to an aeroplane to our own crops. So crop lives in two environments. That is the soil environment and the air environment. So aerodynamics is very, very important because, because, because crop is in its aerial parts, aerial parts. So, any object which is in the air, okay, it faces uh, the dynamics of the uh, air. That's what we call it as the aerodynamics. When it is in the thermal environment, when I am explaining thermodynamics, when it is in the solar radiation, solar radiation dynamics. So now, so what is aerodynamics? Simply an object, the study of an object behavior with reference to air, when it is immersed in the air. So from there I start uh, any class of my student in the basics, again, okay? basic three only. Now, here I would like to tell some important things. Here, what is it? The basic fundamental thing is that transport of water vapor away from surface is a function of transport of water. Transport of water away from a surface of water is a function of two things. What are those two things here? Please see here. See, first one is the humidity gradient. What is the vapor pressure at the surface? Humidity gradient at two heights and wind speed across the surface. Air flow, where in its horizontal motion is known as the wind. Okay, wind speed across the surface. So, evaporation, evaporation, this is the evaporation. Okay, evaporation is a function of transport of water vapor away from the water uh, surface. Okay, is a function of humidity gradient and wind speed across. So, net radiation is falling. Wind movement is there, where in its horizontal motion is there, evaporation is going on. This is the aerodynamic method. This is the basis for aerodynamic method that was used by Dalton way back in 1800. So what he said, uh, see, uh, in the very thin layer next to the evaporating surface, I will uh, I'll take this, a very thin layer next to the evaporating surface, diffusion is entirely molecular. Diffusion is entirely molecular. That's why I request you, please subscribe to my channel. Agrometrology farmers and rural environment there in the wind 
I had explained to you what is the diffusion, what are the gas laws. Okay, everything I had explained. That's why please subscribe. Now, if the airflow were laminar, again I request you please subscribe to my channel. Like Roman Roll, Warmers and Roll Roman. There I told what is the laminar flow, how a boundary layer develops, how a turbulent layer develops. Of course, I am not saying that you know I have completed advances. Sir. We are in the basics. Sir. Up to that level I had even. Please subscribe and read that. Now, what is it? If the Airflow or laminar. If the air flow, what is laminar? I am not going to tell again. I have explained to you several times. Now, the evaporation from a saturated surface. This is a saturated surface. Would be determined entirely by the molecular diffusivity. Molecular diffusivity is the only thing where laminar flow is there. If laminar flow is not there, stable, unstable, neutral. I had explained. Please go to those uh, videos. That I please see there. Now, however. The unevenness of uh, okay uh, the surface uh, differential heating lead to the turbulent motion. Please note that unevenness of surface. Two things I told. What are two things? Uh, zero plane displacement D. Roughness parameter Z zero. Okay, roughness. Uh, very daily life I will tell. If you take a cup in a saucer, okay, the when wind is blowing, fan wind is blowing or otherwise, okay? The what is zero plane displacement D? Zero placement D, zero plane displacement D is equal to by virtue of its obstacle. So cup obstacle. Okay, that is the zero plane displacement D. What is the reference parameter? Reference parameter Z0. The surface, the unit surface. So this is the surface of the water. The way in which when you take the tea or coffee in a cup, the surface. What is the surface? What is the um, substrate otherwise? I call it as a substrate in my class. A substrate or surface. Surface resistance uneven. So that's why, however, the unevenness of the surface. Okay. Uh, differential uh, heating uh, lead to the turbulent motion. Turbulent motion is the basis for Four. What are those four? I tell you later. Now, above the laminar sublayer in the turbulent diffusivity, X is the molecular diffusivity. Please, please, please note that uh, mol laminar flow. Okay, ordinary molecular diffusivity. Very, very simple. Adjacent to the flow, adjacent to the surface of water, which is fully saturated. Just above the tur turbulent transfer. Turbulent transfer is the basis for aerodynamics. Now, you see, at a height of one meter. The turbulent diffusivity, not molecular diffusivity, molecular diffusivity at the just the surface of the water, okay, saturated. Even saturated soil also, molecular diffusivity is there. What is the turbulent diffusivity at a height of 1 meter? The turbulent diffusivity may be, just to hold your breath, the turbulent diffusivity may be, this bit will come, 5000 times more than the molecular diffusivity. Just from this surface, Five, 1 meter above, you will find 5000 times of diffusivity in the turbulent. Okay, this is why I tell all my students every time in the class if you take an iron rod, presume that this is an iron rod, it is heated to say 200 degrees centigrade. 1 meter away, what is happening? Here it is 200. 1 meter away, just imagine and then tell me whenever I put a question. 2 centimeters, 20 centimeters, 50, 1 meter. Let, let us take 100 centimeters. How much heat will be there? Though that is what I, will, I always give to my students. Now, so what is the Dalton equation? I will tell. Simple, very, very simple Dalton equation, straightforward equation, which he proposed in the year 1800 is the E is equal. E is water evaporation from a free water surface. E is equal to simplest thing E S minus E function of wind. E S minus E, where E S is the vapor pressure evaporating surface, E is the uh, vapor pressure at the some height above the surface, it is a function of the horizontal wind velocity. Once again, I will tell E 0 evaporation from a free water surface is equal to E S minus E function of wind, multiplied by function of wind times or whatever. E S, what is E S? Vapor pressure at the evaporating surface, that's why, that's why, that's why Penman found that. Uh, in the year 1948, 1952, his works, Penman found that ES, vapor pressure at the operating surface is very difficult to measure. That's why he had done a combination approach. Both energy balance and aerodynamic approach he had gone there. That's what I told. So ES is vapor pressure at the operating surface. E, or small e is equal to 
we have provided at a particular height is the function we have to multiply with the function this is the dalton equation now here principle of similarity see here some basics that's why i request you please subscribe to my channel i don't know what was involved or but there i told for any fluxes fluxes of our gradient of fluxes flux moment there are basically 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 four flux moment number one momentum what is momentum Ma basic physics mass into velocity is momentum that is the wind second one is the that's what we call the km in different books different uh, derivations are there we finally agrometrol should be km k small m okay what is it moment of flux a uh, second one is vapor vapor uh, flux water vapor flux water vapor flux what is water vapor flux you tell me so surface and such a height very very high mole card diffusivity turbulent diffusivity very 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 high turbulent diffusivity so first one is the molecular I mean the momentum second one is the mass we call it as okay otherwise okay or we call it as a vapor third one is the heat fluxes net radiation is equal to ground heat flux plus radiant heat flux plus sensible heat flux that's what heat flux okay kh the fourth one is the for we agrometrologists what is very very important very very important is our kara carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates in the photosynthesis kc okay similarity what is the similarity principle all these fluxes fluxes of moment of fluxes of water vapor fluxes of heat heat flux and finally carbon dioxide there are so many other fluxes we are now in we the agrometrologists are interested only these four these fluxes what happens to these fluxes when when we presume that all the fluxes are equal that is a principle of similarity which is really possible fluxes are simple then who can derive if we know one parameter or measure other things okay one flux we can calculate other fluxes why 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 we should do because now i come to this equation first equation of by using the aerodynamics Thomson weighted Holzman equation 1939. As I said, always, always I use climate and agriculture. But Jan Ho Chang Ho Chi dedicated to his father in the page number. Okay, um, 164, 65, 66. So there, okay, the uh, after the energy balance, okay. Uh, he had gone for uh, aerodynamics in the 157 aerodynamic approach. He had given first time he had given a wonderful equation. Developed by Thomson weighted Holzman equation. Simple, very simple. Please remember that. Okay, when I come to covariance, it is always there. Now, just simply equation E is equal density of the air. Okay, when common constant Q1, Q2, U2, U1 divided by log n Z2, Z1. What are these things? Now, I will tell after telling. In the year 1950, he used D. Our Past year 1950, 1939, 1950, he used D, D, D. What is D? Zero plane displacement he used. So, what are these such again? I will tell. Density of air, Vancouver constant Q1 minus Q2, U2 minus U1, log in Z2 by Z2 by Z1. He had modified it. who past year modified 1950 after 11 years. Just he had taken zero plane displacement, same equation. So what are these things? Q1, Q2, Q3, okay, uh, Q1, Q2. What are these things? Are uh, these things are U1, U2. Please note that aerodynamics for uh, aviation aircraft, aerodynamics for agriculture, aerodynamics for uh, instrumentation. Everything is same. Wind is always used by U. That's it. U2 minus U1. Q. Of course, uh, in some books you will find Q. What is Q? U1, U2, Q1, Q2. These are the wind speeds and specific humidities. Wind speed. U, U. Specific humidities. Z2, Z1 are heights. That's it. Okay. D is 0. Point. Once again, this is the basics of 3 only. We are not going for calculation. May actual computation. I assure you we do it. Now, E is equal to density of air, Vancouver constant, Q1, Q2. Okay, what is Q1, Q2? Humidity, uh, wind speed, Z2, Z1, heights, difference. So, E, same, plus zero plane displacement. These two equations are, are, are developed by uh, Thomson weighted Holzman. Now, after telling what is the uh, 
this is the aerodynamic method. Now I would like to explain to you first the covariance, then eddy covariance. Again, I am telling you this is the basic three only. What is eddy covariance? First of all, diagram I would like to explain. Then I will give you simple. What is the eddy covariance? Simple, simple, and simple. Very simple. Yeah, for eddy covariance is equal to density. Okay, these two W and X mean. This is the mean. Okay, at instant. Okay, for instant we give dot. Uh, we give like this prime. We give prime for this. Now, F is equal rho W X. What is the? Uh, what are these things? Sir? This is the W is the wind air velocity upward or upward or C. This is the thing. If you take a graph, if you take a graph, okay. So density of air, which is the W, air velocity upward or down, K is the of air meter cube. What is this one? This is the mean. This is the mean. What is the average vertical flux of entity? What is the entity? There are four entities: momentum, mass. Uh, tell me, momentum, mass, heat flux, and uh, carbon dioxide. Average vertical flux of any entity. Now, what is uh, this one? What is the prime or uh, mean of? Uh, Fluctuation entity mean of a fluctuation entity. So what is mean of a grams per kg of air? Grams per kg of now I will tell. So after giving this uh, small little little one more replace one more minute please sir. So why eddy covariance? Why we are going for that is that? Huh? Okay, eddy covariance. Huh? Okay. Otherwise we also call eddy correlation decay. What is eddy? First aerodynamic method we try to understand. Who have a thought by tender? Uh, Boltzmann, okay, uh, uh, Thomas White and uh, Holtzman. Now it was improved by Pascal. Now eddy covariance technique to overcome the limitations of uh, Thomas White and Holtzman, and to some extent, okay, later by other scientists, Swinburne, Swinburne in 1951 was the first to attempt a direct measurement by eddy correlation technique. Wonderful technique he developed. Why it is wonderful? I tell you after half minute. This method is based on the assumption that. The vertical eddy flux, vertical eddy flux. If it is a crop, this is a crop, this is a crop, this is in the air. Four fluxes are there. Third time, fourth time, I am telling. First flux is the momentum. Second mass. Third one is heat. Fourth one is the CO2 fluxes. Now, this method is based on the assumption that the vertical eddy flux sir, can be determined any any of these eddy flux. Okay. Can be determined by simultaneous measurement of the upward eddy velocity and the fluctuation in vapor pressure. Upward eddy velocity, okay, and okay, vapor pressure. Bar. What is the bar here? Again, another equation. What is the bar here? A bar over the quantity denotes mean value in time. Okay, prime. This is the prime. Again, behind this, you know, I am showing it to you. If you are, uh, that's the same thing I wrote here. Okay, eddy covariance. Oh, okay, this one. Okay, let us see this one only. Let us see. Let us not go for another confusion word. Okay, so here, eddy covariance is equal to. Okay, uh, these are the primes. What are these? I had explained to you. Average of the vertical flux. These two. Okay, first one. This one is the density of air. This one is the air velocity. Kg of air per meter cube. Uh, cube meter. Okay, and this one is the mean of the fluctuation entity of in grams per kg of air. Okay, this is what the, is the uh, eddy co. Correlation or eddy covariance. Of course, uh, simple instruments are enough for this. Simple instruments are for at the field level for our practice. What are those? What are what we need here? Air. Okay, fluctuations in the uh, jet to uh, at a particular height. Uh, difference between two heights of wind velocity. What is the fluctuation of any entity? What is the entity? Momentum, mass, uh, heat. Carbon dioxide. Any entity you take, relevant instrument you take, psychrometer or electronic devices. Now it is electronic devices have come. Any instrument will be of two or three or more also. So those instruments also have come. Simple eddy covariance is the same. Follows aerodynamic. This is a simple point version where F is equal to air density. These two factors I told several times. Now, so what is needed simply for eddy covariance is the thermometer reading. Okay, to measure. Air velocity at the two different uh, hygrometer to measure the Q values. That much is there. Simple equation is there. Now see eddy covariance from R. Okay. Nowadays highly sophisticated aircraft they carry it. Eddy, it, it, it. I was fortunate. 
in any advanced laboratories of agriculture, it is the basics of advanced laboratories of agrobiology. Any covariance instruments, towers are there, basic towers are there, laminar flow, boundary layer development, free air, from there, from there, average fluxes. Just hold your breath, I tell you. The 1 by 100th of a second, you will get the wind velocity at two different, 1 by 100th of a second. So that's why when aircrafts are landing, when aircrafts are taking, when uh, uh, these uh, uh, car races uh, of uh, Formula 1, something like that are going on. So there the uh, drag force, the stress, Reynolds number. Please, that's why I request you, please subscribe to my channel. Agrobot was farmers and road element. They are not the analogy I told. So stress, drag force, all act on aircraft or a racing car or a car going against the wind, okay? Or cycle against the wind, a kite flying. All these things were taken care of with the AD covariance, uh, okay, towers. AD covariance are there. Now, where is the aircraft, advanced aircraft in the year 2021? Steamers. Okay, when they are traveling from one continent to other continent uh, in different fluctuations of weather. So, why I am telling you, for uh, we, the agrometrologists, uh, we should know aerodynamic weather. These are the basics of the covariance also. Why? We grow intercrops. A tall crop of red gram grown in, uh, when we grow a short crop of, uh, say, uh, groundnut. A tall crop of java, we grow for uh, some green gram. At what distance, you know, row to row? Why? Whether it is 4 is 1 or 5 is 1, 6 is 1. Eddy covariance helps us a lot. So, in determining from there, we start mango orchards, coconut orchard. It is my experience. What an innovation I developed for uh, uprooting of uh, coconut plantations of 30, 35, 40 years old, which are really, really giving a very high economic yield, are just thrown away in one or two hours of uh, high speed winds uh, when cyclone crosses. Z0 plus D at the same height. There, my technique says that uh, you put uh, up to Z0 plus D height, uh, any weight, nothing would go wrong. As well. So, like that, innumerable advantages are covariance, ID uh, covariance. So, this is what I would like to say. So far, we try to understand blind indicated method, modified blind indicated method. Penman equation over there, modified Penman equation. Second class, uh, we try to understand energy balance, Bowen's ratio, then com combination approach of uh, um, uh, this. Uh, Penman, that is the aerodynamic term, uh, plus uh, before that uh, energy term, okay, radiation plus energy. Now in the class, aerodynamic method, aerodynamic covariance. Then we try to understand what are the resistant approaches. Thank you. These are the basics only. Advances we calculate, we actually compute. Thank you very much for your patient hearing. May God bless you.